So the time has come. Your keyboard is dirty. Everyone coming to your house thinks you're eating Cheetos on this keyboard. They think you've done many terrible things with the keyboard. So what you gotta do? You gotta clean it. How are you gonna do that? Well, obviously you're lazy, so you're gonna put it in the dishwasher, right? But does this actually work? Well, I'm gonna be trying out that today with my own keyboard. So let's see what happens if you do this properly. First, I probably need to showcase how dirty or how clean my keyboard is. It's not that dirty, but it does have a few smudges here, you can see. There is obviously some dust under the keys or on the sides. It is a very low profile keyboard, so this one doesn't really have too much space for the dust to get in. But it's still dirty and I've had it for five years and I want to clean it now for the first time. I'm gonna have to start removing the keycaps. That is what you have to do for better water flow so water can get in here and clean out all of this. Pro tip, just take a picture of your keyboard before you do this so you know how to put it back together. So I removed all the caps now and turns out there is a lot of lint under some of these which I can just probably shake out manually so I will do that and then I'm going to the dishwasher. So by flipping over the keyboard I realized that there are little little pieces here, little plastic nipples that give the pressure for key presses and these pieces fell out in a few places so I will be checking every single one of them and maybe I'll also be putting the keyboard in a bag so nothing can really flow away from it. Before I can put the keyboard in the dishwasher I've got to take out all of these dishes first. You're not supposed to have any dishes in with the keyboard. To protect most of the keys I've got a net over it and I didn't have a bigger net so the other half of the keys is still gonna be unprotected from the water. Now you're not supposed to have too much heat and you're not supposed to do heat drying that could destroy the plastics or warp them. So I don't know which one of these is right but I think probably this one. It's first time opening, let's see what happened. Looks very clean. And of course be sure to take it out as soon as possible so you don't let it rust in there in the heat you want to dry it out as fast as possible now so I'm gonna go and dry it let's leave it here for like a few days and then I'll check on it in the meanwhile I go and clean these keycaps three days I'll pass and the keyboard is fairly dry but I think the washing was not as effective as I wanted it to be clean out all the big debris but all the hair is still left so I will have to manually remove all of this hair which does make it a little bit less effective to put your keyboard in a dishwasher so I've encountered a little problem here I've broken this mechanism while removing it bygones bygones you're too late to the game they already gone sticks on me sticks on me because so many fucking keys sticks on me sticks on me it will be coming up a little bit like this all the other keycaps except space is replaced. Putting space back on is a little bit of a hard task. If you wiggle it on you can get it on on this keyboard as well. Of course this highly depends on the type of keyboard you have because if you have a mechanical keyboard it's probably just gonna have switches that slide onto the mechanical uh, switches and you're not gonna have any butterfly mechanisms like these. I've got the keyboard here, it works, it's out of the dishwasher, I've dried it and it works completely fine, there's no issue with that but it's actually broken. So what did break it was me taking off the keycaps. I did break this butterfly switch. So if you're taking off the keycaps, be very careful. Taking off the keycap and cleaning the keyboard manual is actually gonna be faster if you have only a single keyboard and it's gonna be way more effective. You're gonna clean out more of the dust and all of the hair. If you got a bunch of keyboards, you might as well dishwasher them. Don't put too much effort into taking off the keycaps though and just put them in the dishwasher so this method has been proven to work, same as with the chicken.